Right, so I'm going to share this testimony about how God saved me from backsliding and brought me back and put me back on the narrow path, on the narrow path. So basically, I became a Christian seven years ago and um, started, you know, got baptised, born again, filled with Holy Spirit, but never really properly surrendered my sin and uh, carried on living in bits of sin and thinking, hearing false teachings, thinking it were all good and all okay. And then, um, you know, the time went on and I just ended up backsliding more and more, falling back to the old type of sins. Got to the point where I was just trapped in sin, but always kept praying to the Lord, always kept trying to get back, but ne never really able to, because the Bible warns you about getting, so ins getting snared of the sin. That's, be careful of the sin that so easily ensnares us. And so basically, um, long story short, the on Thursday, the 4th of the 4th, 2019, came home from work, um, gets, gets home, won't feel him well, feeling really ill, um, says to my missus, I'm not feeling well at all, so I'm going to go lie down. So I goes, lies down upstairs, and... Um, uh, Gets lies on bed, and I've literally been attacked by demons on the bed, and um, the demons are, are, are literally speaking to me and saying, um, "God, your God don't love you anymore. You've lost your salvation. Um, you're damned. You're gonna go to hell, and uh, God's gonna kill you." Basically, that, that's what they were saying. And then um, I was like fighting against them, try to like rebuke them and that, like, you know, doing techniques that I've learned and stuff, you know, try to fight against them. But um, it won't work in, they kept coming back stronger. And then I, I literally started to believe what they were saying. And um, as I started to believe what they were saying, I started, I, be, I began to have an heart attack on the bed. And uh, literally, um, and the missus will tell you that my heart were coming out of my chest and um, she'd seen someone have an heart attack before and uh, they went to hospital and, and, and uh, this what were happening to me were much much worse than that so I laid on the bed having an heart attack Our last, she's running around the room screaming I'm gonna ring an ambulance then uh, next thing yeah I start to have a vision and I see Jesus Christ, yeah? And I see Jesus and he's walking towards me and he's got loads of people, followers with him. But I couldn't see their faces. Their faces were blotted out. I could only see his face. And then, um, so I ran to him and uh, I was shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And then um, as I got to him, I realized that he was uh, not happy with me. He was angry very angry with me, I felt it in my spirit and then uh, Charlie come on, Charlie come on sorry about that and then um, I felt it in my spirit that it was angry with me and I, and I knew that it was going to hear these words depart from me, I never knew you you will practice sin and so I'm trying to hold on to Jesus I'm telling him I love him but I wasn't able to hold on to him I let go of him. As I, as I let go, he started walking away and he was getting further and further and further away from me. Then I shouted out to him, I said, what if I repent? And as soon as I said them words, he, he was like, he turned around and he went, if you repent, we'll talk then. And he had a, he had a proper serious look on his face. And then, and then as soon as I heard him say that to me, I seen his face straight in front of my face and I saw the crown of thorns sticking into his skull and I seen there were, his face was covered in blood and I felt the pain that he'd suffered on the cross for my sin and I felt it yeah and then straight away he was standing in front of me and he stuck his hands inside my chest and he, he grabbed hold of my heart and he, and he literally started praying for my heart and uh, at the same time, my missus, she began to pray for my heart as well. And she, she she's shy in that, yeah, she's not like that, but she, Holy Spirit must have convicted her to do it. And she just prayed and started putting her hands on my heart and prayed for my heart. And then um, 
she was praying in tongues and praying, God heal this heart, God heal this heart. And then um, it was like, it was absolutely like the Holy Spirit was working so strong. It was like the last reformation, the cancer healed video, that woman in the hospital, it was similar to that. And then um, basically, so I, I couldn't speak and Jesus was literally sticking his fingers inside my heart and just like, pulling stuff out of my heart and it was just it was just healing my heart and then eventually like my missus was like running around the room again she's gonna ring an ambulance and then I was able to speak and then um, as soon as I was able to speak I shouted out I said don't ring an ambulance I said it, it's God and then I said he's, he's touched my heart and as soon as I said them words I, I burst into tears I, mean, I was crying my eyes out uncontrollably and um, then uh, after that had happened, um, I started to real I started to see all the evil spirits that were attacking me all flying around my face. And then um, I was literally like, my missus was still praying for me, and I was saying to God, I don't want these evil spirits. Get rid of them, Lord. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I don't want them. I don't want them. And then I started manifesting evil spirits on the bed. I started manifesting evil spirits on the bed. And, um, and then they came out through coughing. I ended up coughing, and they came out. And then, and then uh, I, I, I just I grabbed my Bible off off the side, my King James Bible. I grabbed it, I hugged it. I was crying my eyes out, hugging the Bible, and I was repenting straight away. As I come out, I started repenting. I said to my missus, because I'd me and my missus were engaged to be married, but we'd we'd been sinning and we'd we'd gone ahead of God and it was just all wrong we're doing it the complete wrong way but thinking try to justify it and that and it's just completely terrible what we were doing and so I said to my missus get that flipping ring off your finger now told her to get the ring off her finger I said we're gonna start again so I repented and I, I, we're even living together as well so um, I moved I, I repented oh yeah I got the Bible yeah and I opened up the Bible and it said um, the the psalm which says like the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it yeah that that psalm I can't remember the exact psalm yeah but that psalm and I read it and the Holy Spirit was so strong I just cried and weeped and filled my Bible with tears the whole page was soaked through with tears and then I was just filled with this joy and I was just like speaking in tongues like tongues that I've never spoke before and um, I was filled with so much joy. And then I would just I, would, I just cried for a, at least an hour afterwards, maybe even longer, just on and off crying, weeping. And then uh, instantly I, I moved out of the house straight away. I got my stuff. I went to my mom's, and uh, my mom said to my mom, "Mom, I'm moving back in here." And she just didn't even put up a fight or anything. She went, "Yep, that's fine, no problem." And I do my mom's heading, so that's a miracle in itself. And then. Uh, Basically, um, I moved back into my mum's and then um, me and my, my missus, yeah, was like, I was thinking maybe because of, cause I've been sinning all that stuff that God might not let me, um, you know, marry her anymore because obviously I'd sinned against God and I'd, I'd, I'd backslidden and I was just living the wrong type of life and that. My whole early Christian walk was just all, all wrong. And then, um, so, then uh, we're praying one night and we was asking God and that, praying, Lord, are we allowed, is it okay? Are we allowed to get married? Can I, I was asking my, my father in heaven if I can have his daughter to marry. We were praying and praying and praying and then my missus had a vision. And um, in the vision she saw a picture from the bird's eye view looking down and she saw us dancing around at, um, at a wedding, you know, doing the, the first dance. And um and then she saw in the vision the word, and she saw May, May, clear as day. She saw it, yeah. So we we, we knew that God, God were with us and that, and He were He were gonna let us get married and that, yeah, because you know repented and that. And then um, God gave me the day, 18th of May, and this was like four weeks. I mean, my family will come tell you, or my family within four weeks to go, we just announced we're getting married. Four weeks. Most people plan weddings for years, but we planned it 
God said we're going to do it. We said four weeks. And literally, the miracles what took place to make that wedding happen was just absolutely unbelievable. But believable to me, because I know God. And so everything just literally fell into place. And we ended up getting married on the 18th of May. And so many people helped us from church and everyone and just family and all come together and we ended up having an amazing wedding. It was really awesome. Got married and that, praise the Lord. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favour from the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, you know, I just want to encourage the backsliders out there that um, you think you've backslidden, you think there's no way back. You think that God's finished with you and that you've, you've lost your salvation and the devil's on top of you and he's pinned you down and he's, he, you've lost your salvation. That's what you think. But I'll tell you now, if you seek the Lord with all your heart and come back to him, then I truly believe the Lord will restore you back to the joy, what you first got when you first got saved. And then, and then from that point onwards, it's time to get serious with the Lord and do the work what needs to be done. Let him do the work inside your heart. Let him change you. Read the Bible from cover to cover, Genesis to Revelations. Read it and, and apply it to your life. Apply the principles, what it says. Forget about what your favourite preacher says, or this, that and the other, right? Listen to what the Bible says. And, you know, the Bible tells you that you have to repent. You have to turn away from your sin. And you have to follow God with all your heart. Yeah, and you have to literally put your life and your plans to death and let Jesus live through you and if you do that you'll have pure peace in your life that surpasses all understanding and you'll have pure joy in your life and you'll just be you know you won't be immune to you get persecuted and you probably get people who call you nuts and all sorts of different things but don't worry about it. They called this, they said the same to Jesus and they attacked him and they persecuted him and they and they said they you know they, you know what they did to me. Well they'll do that to you. But it'll be worth it because the joy what will be stuck the, the treasure and the joy what will be given to you in heaven will be worth the suffering what you go through in this life. And if you're suffering for the Lord right now, I just want to encourage you, you know, stick in there, soldier, and just focus on the prize, man, because you're going to get a crown of righteousness, and you're going to be blessed, brother and sister. And um, I just thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for giving me a second chance. And um, I, just, I just thank him so much for everything he's done in my life. I pray that he bless you for this testimony mighty name of Jesus Christ, pray for whatever you might need, I just pray for right now in the name of Jesus with inside the will of God, and I just bless each and every one of you, love you all very much, God bless you in the name of Jesus, Amen.